Okay guys, and today we will be cooking Rice Krispie Treats. I'm always fixing Rice Krispie Treats for the girls, for the family, we all love them. And if you guys have followed me on Instagram, you know I'm always uh, posting Rice Krispie Treats. So I said, you know what, let me go ahead and cook it for the channel, so, all right. And of course you guys know on the back of every Rice Krispie box, it is the recipe for Rice Krispie treats. So you've got three uh, tablespoons of butter. Um, you've got, let's see what it says here, one pack of 10 ounce uh, marshmallows. Uh, it says here six cups of Rice Krispies. I mean, it's on the back of every Rice Krispie, Kellogg's Rice Krispie cereal box. So. Kellogg's Rice Krispie. Everybody knows these. So, the recipe's on the back of every box. So, everybody pretty much knows how to make them. But, you know me. I do them how I want to do them. But, I do uh, do the three tablespoons of butter. I definitely do that. Get that in there. Get my butter melted. My butter all nice and melted. And, uh, love rice krispie treats they are quick and easy quick and easy to fix get your butter all nice and melted let me make sure you guys can see all right okay back y'all up a little bit all right let me make sure I get you all in that pot I'm gonna take y'all too far in okay all right and rice krispie treats are nice and quick Butter, come on. I love rice krispie treats because they're quick and easy. All right, so I've got all my butter all nice and melted. My butter all nice and melted, and um, I've got medium heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my marshmallows in here so they can get all melted. And I've got the Publix marshmallows, Publix marshmallow guys. Get them all dumped in here. Look at everybody go in. Let's go. Sticky little marshmallows. Quick and easy for the Rice Krispie treats. Quick and easy. And like I said, I've got my oven on a, a low medium heat, like a medium high heat. Cause you want these uh, marshmallows to melt, you know? Just gonna give those marshmallows time to melt. It don't take them long. Stir them all up. Give them some time to melt. Let me get my pan ready. Um, I think I want to do. I think I'm gonna do a cake pan shape. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my cake pan. My little cake pan shape. You can make your Rice Krispies whatever, whatever the heck shape you want to make them. So, whatever shape you want to make them. All right. Let's get our marshmallows all nice and melted. I love Rice Krispie treats. I love them. Nothing like a homemade Rice Krispie treat. Nothing like it. And I like my little plastic spoon that I use. My little plastic spoon I got from Dollar Tree. You want to make sure you get your marshmallows all nice and melted. A nice, quick treat for the family. And the kids love it. The kids love it. Get that heat down. Because you don't want to burn your marshmallows. You don't want a burnt marshmallow taste. Ooh, been there and done that. That was nasty. So, you don't want to do that. So, now that I'm getting these marshmallows all nice and melted. Okay, good. I can bring you guys in a little bit better. Okay, good. All right. 
trying to make sure y'all can at least see. So, getting those marshmallows all melted. Come on now. Got like two or three that's trying not to melt, but you just kind of mix and mix and let the other marshmallow get them all nice and melted. Okay, all right, so we got it all nice and melted. Let's start getting our Rice Krispie cereal in. And I just do a little bit at a time. I do like maybe, the recipe calls for six cups. Eh. Um, I don't really do that many. So I've got like two cups poured in here already. Might be about six cups, I'ma see. Okay, let me pour a little bit more cereal in there. All right. Okay. So it's looking like we're at about four cups now. I just like pouring them in a little bit at a time and stirring it, you know? A little bit at a time. So I've got about I've got about maybe yeah, about four cups poured in here. So they might be right about six. Some people like more cereal than marshmallow. Some people like more marshmallow than cereal. You know? I like more marshmallow than cereal. Well, no, no, no. I like more cereal than marshmallow because I like it to be crunchy, you know? Nice and crunchy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit more. So, yeah, that was actually about six cups. Yeah, it's about six cups. And you want to make sure it's staying nice and hot so your, your uh, marshmallow can stay nice and soft. And, and uh, nice and soft and all marshmallowy, so you can get everything all mixed. Get the cereal all mixed in there. Quick and easy, guys. This is quick and easy. Quick and easy. See how quick I did that? Quick and easy. Let me get this heat off. Quick and easy. Like I said, you want to make sure your pot stays hot. That helps your marshmallow stays nice and warm. And that way you can mix your cereal in. Look how easy that is, see? And my pan's not even messy. Look, my, my pot's not even messy. It'll be an easy cleanup. And look at the Rice Krispie. It's one big ball already. One big ball, that's why it's important. Make sure your heat stays, um, your, your pot stays hot. Look at that, guys. I can just pick that whole thing up. And look how clean the pot is. All nice and clean. So, I'm gonna put you guys over here. So you can see, move this out of the way. Big old water jug my daughter got over here. All right, so let's get you guys over here. So you can see how I'm just gonna put the, um, what we doing camera? Let's focus better. I'm telling you, sometimes my camera don't want me to be great. I'm telling you, don't want me to be great. He be hating, child. He be hating. Hold on, y'all, let me get y'all focused. Okay, camera. Thank you. He be hating. I'm telling y'all. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my Rice Krispie Treats all dumped in here. Look at that. One big old blob. One big old blob. Just get it all down in there. Look at that, guys. Quick and easy. Look at the pot. The pot, there's nothing in there. Nice, quick, easy cleanup. And I'm just going to smash this down. Just gonna smash that down in there with my spoon. <clears throat> you guys can see. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. Zoom you in a little bit more. See that? And I'm just gonna smash that down with my spoon. Just smash it down. Go around, smash it like that. However you want to do it with your hands. I be getting in there with my hands too. Don't get it twisted now. I be getting in there. Like I'm about to do right now. Get in there. Get it all smashed down. Yep, you guys can see. Look, get it all. You can use any pan you want. Whatever shape you want to use. Sometimes I use my square pan. Sometimes I use this little cake pan, you know. And sometimes I use like another little like a meatloaf kind of pan. Whatever pan I feel like using, that's what I use. So today, it's going to be like my, my cake pan. So this way, I can cut them into little triangles for the girls. And for myself too. Oh, I want me some Rice Krispies too. A lot of times we forget about ourselves. You know, when it comes to our kids, we forget about ourselves. But we got to take care of ourselves too. 
of course we love our kids we take care of our kids but we gotta we gotta take care of ourselves too we gotta make sure we stay around and take care of the kids and look how that is guys easy and I just kind of smash it around on the sides so it look all nice and pretty look at that guys it's not even sticking look perfect perfect rice krispie treats look at that done and of course I'll just let it sit I'll let them sit in this pan for like maybe 30 minutes you know so they can chill out and relax and then I'll go ahead and just get a little uh, simple butter knife and cut them into uh, triangles you know like a cake like you know just cut it like a little like a cake like this like a pizza and that's what I do when I use this pan um, and like I said that's it guys Y'all seen me do it, so y'all know I did it. Y'all seen me do it now. Y'all y'all saw me. I was recording. Ain't nobody else did it. I did it. So, all right. This is Arika Misha. Thank you guys so much for watching. These are our Rice Krispie Treats. Quick and easy, guys. We did that in like five minutes. Quick and easy. No reason. Let's make some Rice Krispie Treats for the kids. Kellogg's Rice Krispie Cereal and a bag of marshmallows and some butter. Three tablespoons of butter. All right, let's make some Rice Krispie Treats for these kids. They love them. This is Arika Misha, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.